Very excited for you all to be here tonight. Now make some noise if you've seen a live hypnosis show. All right, a bunch of you. Welcome back, welcome back, all the hypno returners in the house. And make some noise if this is your first ever live hypnosis show. Virgins. Is that this terminology? I don't know. I don't know. Now, the most important question of all is make some noise if you think you might want to get hypnotized today. All right. That, that would have been really awkward if there was just silence. Because the hypnosis show is much less interesting if there's body to hypnotize. So the way this is going to work is in just a little bit, I will hypnotize you. <laughs> However, I'm not taking any volunteers. <laughs> Instead of taking volunteers, I like to do things a little bit differently at my shows, have a little bit of fun. Rather than taking volunteers, I'm going to hypnotize the entire audience at once. <laughs> now, I can tell there's a bit of a mixed reaction. Some of you were very excited and some of you were getting up and leaving because you're like, I don't want to get hypnotized here, what's going on? The way that hypnosis works is hypnosis is a voluntary state. So what that means is that if you want to get hypnotized and you are open to it, you can and you will get hypnotized. If you don't want to get hypnotized, then you won't get hypnotized. All right? It's not mind control like the movies. I can't force you to have the experience if you don't want it. As a hypnotist, I'm sort of, think of me like your guide. I'm sort of your guide or the facilitator, the instructor for the experience of going into a hypnotic trance. And I'll say the right words at the right order and the right time to help you experience a special state known as hypnosis. And if you really listen to those instructions, let yourself become immersed in that state and that experience, then it will work and you'll get hypnotized. If you don't, if I say, hey, focus on the sound of my voice, let yourself start to relax and experience hypnosis, and you go, no. <laughs> Why is it working? <laughs> As DJ Khaled would say, you played yourself. <laughs> if you don't want to get hypnotized, you won't get hypnotized. That's the point. But if you do want to get hypnotized, all you gotta do is make sure you are immersed in the experience, follow the instructions as best as possible, and it'll work great. Hypnosis is not as much something that I make happen to you, as much as it is a partner experience here where it's something you allow yourself to experience, all right? So, that being said, if you do want to get hypnotized, make sure your phone is on silent or off or put it under your seat so that it won't distract you. Just wanna make sure you have no distraction so it doesn't go off in the middle of you trying to get hypnotized. Uh, secondly, I know a lot of you got to experience and enjoy a lot of the great food that was downstairs. Just make sure if you want to get hypnotized, you're done eating. You're not trying to snack as you're like, oh, this is great. Oh, I'm no, like, let myself relax. <laughs> That's a different kind of hypnosis we don't want during the show. All right, we want to make sure, of course, you stay safe while you do it. If you don't want to get hypnotized, this is very important. For all my friends who don't want to get hypnotized, totally fine, all good. Of course, we need people in the audience to be able to watch the show as well, too. But if you don't, all I ask is that you please be really respectful of the people around you who do want to have that experience, all right? Because we do it in the audience instead of on stage, that means I place my trust in you as the audience to provide the audience as a space where it can be quiet, people can concentrate, people can focus. Of course, once we bring people up on stage, make some noise, laugh, take pictures, do all that, it'll be great. But just during those few minutes when we're doing the hypnosis in the audience, I ask if you don't want to be hypnotized, totally cool, but just keep the space around you respectful and quiet for the people that do want to experience it, all right? If you see somebody next to you getting really, really relaxed and their head starts to 
fall onto your shoulder. Be a good neighbor, lend your shoulder as a pillow if you need to. I don't want to see anybody in the audience going like this. Let the people around you have their own experience because the more people that do get hypnotized, the more people we have up on stage, the more fun the show is for everybody, all right? The last thing that I will say before we jump into the hypnosis because you're not here to see me talk for an hour, you are here to get hypnotized and see others get hypnotized, which is what we are about to do. But the last thing that I will say is if you do want to get hypnotized tonight, this show, this hypnosis show, is not about hypnotizing you to look stupid in front of your peers. That's not what hypnosis show, or my hypnosis show at least, is about. I believe entertainment should never be at the expense of another person. So for all of you that are hypnotized, my goal is to show you how you can tap into this new fun state, use your mind in a new and different way, and have fun experiencing hypnosis. Not embarrass yourself so you never want to show your face on campus again, right? That's not the goal, that's not what's going to happen. So I just want to say that up front, that's my promise to you, that's my guarantee that over the course of the show, for those of you that do want to get hypnotized, it'll be a fun experience. It'll be like you're getting to live a dream in real life, which is gonna be very fun. So whether you are in the audience and you get to see the show, or whether you end up coming up on stage and you get to be the show, my goal is for every single person here to have a great time. How does that sound? but I want you just to look at the center of my hand. And the reason I do that is just so you have a focal point. You have something to concentrate on with your eyes. So that as your eyes concentrate on that spot, your mind can focus on the sound of my voice. Because the sound of my voice is what will hypnotize you. The sound of my voice is what will help send you into the state known as a hypnotic trance. And the more that you can focus completely and 100% on my voice and only my voice, the better this will work. As you continue to concentrate on that spot, let your eyes lock onto that spot as your mind locks now onto the sound of my voice. Take a deep breath in. And now, continue to focus. Continue to concentrate. You might start to notice your eyes start to get a little tired and heavy. It's natural, that's what they do when they stare at something like we're doing right now. Continue to lock your eyes on that spot, your mind and my voice, and let a breath in. Just a moment, and I'll have you take a third breath in, and this time as you breathe out, you can allow your eyes to close gently. As you take that breath in now, and let it out, eyes close. Focus on the sound of my voice. With your eyes closed, you don't have to look or stare or focus on anything other than the sound of my voice. Because once again, my voice is what will help you experience this special state known as hypnosis. And as you focus on my voice, I want you to begin to let yourself relax more and more. Every muscle, every nerve, every fiber, just let go. And as you relax, you focus on my voice more. And as you focus on my voice more, you relax more and more. In fact, I'm going to count down from five to one. Each number I count down from five to one, every number helps relax you further. Every number sends you deeper into this hypnotized state. In fact, imagine you're standing at the top of a wonderful staircase in your mind. And each number I count down from five to one, you travel down those stairs, signifying to yourself going further and deeper into this wonderful relaxed state. Five. More and more. Relax. Four. Even deeper. Every sound you hear, every word I say, sends you more and more into this wonderful relaxed state. Three, that's right. Just like you're doing now, continuing to relax. If you haven't already, you can allow your chin to get closer to your chest as all the muscles in your neck relax. That's right. In two, that deeper number. Take that experience. Double it now. More and more. Relax. Getting ready to go all the way completely into this final deep. 
a state of relaxation. And the last number one sleep. Gently let yourself, one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling great. All right, fantastic. Take another deep breath in, let it out and sleep. Let yourself one, two, three, awake. That's right, doing great. What I want you to do is go ahead and put both of your arms out directly in front of you. I want you to interlock all of your fingers, including your thumbs. And notice which thumb is on top, left or the right. Doesn't matter, but I want you just to stare at your two hands together. Don't take your eyes off of your hands. Lock your eyes onto your two hands and begin to squeeze them tightly together. Squeeze your two hands tightly together. Clamp, lock those hands tight together. And as you squeeze those hands tight together, you find those hands have suddenly become locked, stuck together. The more you want to try to pull them apart, the closer those hands get. The more you try to separate them, the more stuck those hands are. Your hands are completely stuck. They will not come apart. The more you try, the more stuck those hands get. They are glued. They are locked. Continue to focus on those hands, squeezing them stuck tight together. Let yourself sleep. You can allow those hands to gently come apart in your lap now as you relax more and more into this wonderful state of hypnosis. That's right. Do an amazing and incredible. The next time that you open your eyes, just as you experienced your two hands being stuck, your first name has now become stuck in your mind. That's right. You completely forget your own first name. The more you try to remember your name, the more you completely forget it. The more you try to say it, the more it is stuck on the tip of your tongue, stuck in the back of your mind. You completely forget your own first name. You're remembering to forget. You're forgetting to remember. Either way, you cannot remember your own first name. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. All right. Now, I know a lot of you are new. This is your freshman year. I know you don't know everybody here. So I want you all just to take a quick moment. Uh, introduce yourself to somebody around you. Make a new friend, and we'll uh, continue with the rest of the show. <laughs> Stand in front of the chair. 
chairs. Don't sit, don't take a seat just yet, but just stand in front of those chairs. All right. Don't worry, don't worry. Stand in front of those chairs. All right, now. This is pretty cool. Have, have any of you been hypnotized before? First time for everybody? Have you, you been hypnotized before? No, you haven't? What's going on? That's pretty cool, huh? No. No? <laughs> what is your name? I wish I could tell you. You wish you could. Watch, you remember it now. Your name is? Monica. There you go. Just as easily as you can remember, we can take that name, erase it from your mind. It's gone. You completely forget again. Your name was what? I said before. What did you say before? All right, uh, Monica, what is your name? Monica? That's what I said, is that your name? I don't know. Now you do. Your name is? Monica. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Your name though, my friend. Uh, I don't know. It's Monica. Uh, you're, you're wearing a name tag. I do. What does a name tag say? Liam. Is that your name? I guess. <laughs> sure. But your name, my friend. I don't know your name. What's your name? Oh, my name, my name's Zach. Nice to meet you. You are. <laughs> How long have you been wearing glasses? Uh, a year. A year. I think I think it's the glasses that are causing you to forget. Watch if you take out the glasses, you will remember your name. Your name is Katya. There we go. <laughs> but as soon as you put them back on, you forget again. Your name was what? <laughs> Strange. But your name. What is it? It's what? So many people know it. It's fine. <laughs> so many you don't know? No, I know it. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll take your name out of your mind. We'll just toss it back in. Now you know what your name is. Lindsay. There we go. Perfect. We reach in, grab that name. You forget again. Your name was what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Here you go. Your name is Lindsay. There we go. Perfect. It's crazy. Your name, though. Can't say it. You can't say it. You know, but it's just stuck, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe your name. I don't know. Uh, do you have a name? Stuck. Your name is stuck. That's a fun name. That's cool. All right, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. We obviously don't have room to keep everybody on stage. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to come up to you, ask you to close your eyes, open your eyes, and I will either tell you to have a seat or head back to the audience. If I send you back, nothing personal. That just means we don't have space for everybody, all right? So bear with me real quick as I do this process and we will continue the show. Now, if I sent you back, nothing personal doesn't mean you can't be hypnotized. And in fact, if you want to stick with the hypnosis and keep experiencing it from the audience, you're more than welcome to do so. But I can just only keep so many people up on stage. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? With all my friends up here on stage, sit back in those seats for me. 
Uh, in those seats, you will be going back into the state of hypnosis, so you will be relaxing quite a bit. I want to make sure that no matter how much you relax, you always stay safe in those seats. You'll never fall out of those seats. All right, so make sure you sit in a way that you know you won't fall out of those seats. Make sure you are staying safe when you relax. All right, I want you all to imagine you are on a roller coaster. I want you all to lean this way. Wee! Lean the other way. Wee! Lean back the other way. We sleep. Sleep deeper, further. Sleep. Letting go. Give them all a round of applause, and as you hear the applause, it sends you deeper into this state. The applause relaxes you more. That's right. And what you'll find is that the next time that you open your eyes, any time that I say the word hypnosis. The word hypnosis has become the funniest word in the world. It is hilarious. The more I say it, the funnier that it gets. Next time that you open your eyes, the word hypnosis is the funniest thing in the world. One, two, three, awake! Eyes open. Feeling great. All right. Now, are you all enjoying hypnosis so far? <laughs> hypnosis is a very uh, fun experience, is it not? The, you know, the more you focus on the idea of hypnosis being something that is really, really uh, fun, hypnosis actually is something that the more you focus on the idea of hypnosis being hilarious, hypnosis for some reason is just so much fun. Oh my gosh, that's what hypnosis really is all about. But watch, now that word is, that word is no longer funny now if I say hypnosis. Notice how it's just an ordinary word. Uh, but check this out. Anytime, anytime you're looking at the front side of me, just like you are doing now, completely serious. Boom, nothing can make you laugh. But anytime you're looking at the back side, that's even funnier than the thing before. The back side is the funniest thing in the world. The front side makes you super serious. Because that's what hypnosis is about, is what they focus on. They experience. If they focus on one thing, they experience that. If they focus on Another, they experienced that. I give them one thing to focus on, they experience that reality. I give them another thing, like sleep. They experience that. Now I always uh, start off with that right from the gate, because I know a lot of you are wondering, like, all right, are they just acting? Are they just playing along, following along? If, if they are just following along, it's really hard to fake genuine emotion, just like you saw them doing. Unless they're world-class actors, to be able to switch on, on and off laughter like a light switch, very hard to do. Because what they are doing is they are using their minds where they are experiencing what they believe as if it is their reality. Now, none of them are asleep. They can all hear me, they can all hear you. So you might see them move around or adjust themselves in a state of relaxation. That just means they're letting themselves get more comfortable so that they can relax and become more immersed in this experience. But as you have seen and will continue to see, hypnosis is about understanding they are experiencing what they believe. So, what will they be believing? You're about to find out. All of my friends up here on stage doing amazing and incredible. Next time that you open your eyes, you all have the very special opportunity to participate in a brand new game show competition up here on stage where the winner walks away with $100,000. Think about what you would do if you won $100,000. Next time you open your eyes, you are so, so, so excited to get to win a lot of money. Can't wait to participate in a special competition. Next time you open your eyes, you are so excited to win a whole lot of money. One, two, three, awake. Feeling great. Who wants to win some money up here? Tuition should be expensive. Textbooks be more expensive. <laughs> Reality hits. All right, who wants to win the money? Who wants to win some money? Uh, the way that this competition works, if you want to win, stand up for me. Uh, make sure you spread out between the person next to you. Make sure you have a little bit of room. The name of this competition, careful of the edges of the stage, wherever you are. Uh, the name of this competition is called Statue. The way that it works is I will count down and say three, two, one, statue. Your job is simple. Make the best human statue you possibly can. 
Three things that judges are looking for to determine who wins the money. One, something that is original, they've never seen before. Two, that is creative, it taps into your own mind. And three, the make or break for any good statue is always the facial expression. You get bonus points if you come up with a clever name for your statue. And the best statue wins the prize. Who's ready to play? Here we go, get ready as you three, two, one, statue! Oh my goodness, these are incredible. Uh, the name of this statue is... Man, you ain't the thinker. Okay, this one is called... Hat Attack. Hat Attack! Look out for the hat, everybody! The hat! Attack. This one is called... I kind of come up with something. That's all right. Still a solid statue nonetheless. This one is... <laughs> Fitting, as a statue might say. This one is... The perfect college student. A perfect college student. This one is... Piss. Uh-oh. Oh no, this statue is called... Something bit me! Oh my. This statue down here... Uh-oh. Don't like the sound of that. Uh, down here, this statue is called... So nice. Uh, this one is? Debating College. Debating College. Uh-oh. And last but not least, down here, this amazing statue is called? I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> sexy and I know it! Give it up for all of our awesome statues! All right, all right. Stand it back up, shake it out, shake it out. Those are some amazing statues. All right. Amazing, amazing. All right, who thinks they won? Who thinks they won? Some confident statues. All right. The hat is still attacking. The judges have told me that the winner of the statue competition is too close to call. We need to do one more sudden death round. Winner takes it all. Here we go. Stand back up again. The biggest and best you've got. One final time. Get ready to three, two, one. Statue! Oh my, down here, this statue is called... Feeling a little silly. <laughs> Feeling a little silly. Silly, goofy mood, you know. Uh, this statue is called... Confused. Confused. Why was the head attack? Where did it go? We did it. This statue is called... The same thing, but I'm looking the other way. <laughs> Appreciate the honesty. Back here, very chill, we have... Laid back professor. A laid back professor. Ooh, down here, I think I might know this one's called Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Going right into the spider verse. This one is called I Fear No God. <laughs> I Fear No God. That is the face of a man who fears no God. This statue down here First Late Night. First late night. Oh man, the stress. The stress. This one is called. Oh, cute. Might delete later. Oh, cute. Might delete later. Who knows? We'll see. This one is called. Man. Man. <laughs> the duality of man. And this statue back here is. Feeling feisty today. Feeling feisty today. And last, but certainly not least, the name of this wonderful statue is... King Kong. It's King Kong! And these are all amazing statues! Give it up for all of our fantastic statues! All right, all of you, have a seat. Have a seat, have a seat. Those were fantastic. Those were incredible. Oh my goodness. Whew. How are the judges going to decide a winner? I have no idea, but I do know and a winner has been decided. And the winner of the statue competition and the $100,000 is Sleep. Sleep. Next time that you open your eyes, no longer on a statue competition, no longer winning any money, everything has now returned back to normal in that regard. However, the next time that you open your eyes, 
it is as if you are back to being five years old. You think like, you talk like, you act exactly like you did when you were five years old. And next time you open your eyes, we are in kindergarten class. I am your teacher. Anytime my back is to you, you make silly, funny faces behind the teacher's back. Anytime I'm looking at you, you, of course, are always on your best behavior, but you make silly, funny faces behind the teacher's back. Because you act like, you talk like, and you think exactly like the way you did when you were five years old. One, two, three, away! feeling good. Give it up for all of our amazing students here today. They are so talented. These students are so hard working. I'm so proud of uh, all of these students. They just always do their best. They are so incredible. I have to ask, what is your favorite part of class? The snack time. The snack time. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a firefighter. A firefighter. What do you want to be when you grow up? be Batman. <laughs> Batman. I want to be Batman too. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite part of class? Probably math. It's yeah. a good part of class. What's your favorite part of class? Nap time. Nap time is a good uh, part of class. Oh, what's your favorite part of class? Legos. Legos are great. Legos are great. How many of you? How many of you like coloring? You guys like coloring? Guess what? It's now time to color. Your favorite coloring book is in front of you right now. Start coloring away in your favorite coloring book. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. The more you color, the more fun you have. Color away, color away. It's now double in size. Oh my gosh. And the person next to you just colored in your book. Oh my goodness. Hey, what is going on? All right, hold on, hold on. Listen up. Shh. Hey, right here. What's going on? What happened? <laughs> you bump into her? I wanted to call her. Color. You color in her book? Yeah. You color in your book? You stole it! You stole your book? Yeah. Are you okay? No! Oh, I don't want you to feel bad. Watch, you feel amazing. How do you feel? Great! Alright! Fantastic! What happened over here? <laughs> did you try to bite her? I know, I didn't try. I did. Hey, no biting, no fighting. No, no biting. What happened? <laughs> All right, is everything okay? I don't know. <laughs> Great answer. Tell you what, tell you what. Uh, coloring time's over for now. But who's excited for Christmas? You guys like Santa! Christmas? You like Santa? Who's excited to see Santa Claus this year? Are you guys excited for Santa? No, he's not on that. He's not Watch this, watch this. The next time that I stomp my foot, I turn into Santa Claus. <laughs> Hi, Merry Christmas. What do you want for Christmas this year? Legos! Batman. 
Even you. <laughs> I also have a present for the audience. Here, catch this. I have just given the audience magical sleep dust. In just a moment, they're going to blow it in your faces. It will wash over you just like snow and put you right back into hypnosis. One, two, three. <laughs> sleep. Sleep. Next time you open your eyes, no longer five years old, I'm no longer Santa Claus, back to yourself, feeling normal and amazing every single way. However, next time that you open your eyes, anytime that I stomp my foot on the stage, I become completely invisible. You cannot see me. It's as if I disappear from your vision. I become completely invisible next time I stomp my foot. If I stomp again, I reappear. You can see me once more. But I become completely invisible next time I stomp my foot. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. Eyes open, feeling great. All right. That's feeling good, enjoying hypnosis, relaxing experience. And one of the things that I kind of learned how to do in hypnosis is pretty neat. Watch, you can see me right here, but watch what happens if I do this. You guys okay? What happened? Are you all right? Go away. Back of the stage. Uh, careful, the back of the stage. We don't want anyone falling off the back of the stage. What happened? Go away. Go away? Okay. What are you guys looking for? I don't want anyone falling off the stage. I don't want anyone falling off the stage. Are you okay? What happened? You scared me, though. I'm sorry. Are you alright? No. What happened? Oh, I don't know. Alright. Watch, you can see, you can feel I'm not a ghost, am I? Do I feel real? Do I feel real to you? I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel real? Watch. I know that was a little, a little scary, a little strange. Tell you what, uh, the weird Eden Stranger, uh, your chairs are stuck to the ground. You are stuck to those chairs. You cannot get up out of those chairs. When I tap you on the shoulder, you go right back into hypnosis. However, you better stop doing this. What the fuck? <laughs> Next time that you open your eyes, 
I have suddenly turned into your very favorite celebrity. The person you have always wanted to meet. I look like, I sound like, I am now your very favorite celebrity standing up on stage in front of you. You are so excited to get to meet me. You are so excited to get to meet the person you always wanted to meet. I am now your favorite celebrity next time you open your eyes. One, two, three, awake! Always your eyes. Never! You are! to you in just a moment. How are you, my friend? Remind them who I am? Ryan Reynolds. That's yeah. right. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about me? A pool. Yeah. That's right. You could ask me any question. What do you want to know? How'd you become so sexy? <laughs> well, my answer is the same answer that you just gave me. Deadpool. Did you know? You know we're filming Deadpool 3 right now? <laughs> well, we are. We're actually filming a special scene right here on campus in Illinois. How would you like to be an extra in Deadpool 3? Yes! Amazing! I will see you on set, man. So great to get to meet you. Oh my gosh. Hi. What's up, man? Remind them who I am? You're Luke Combs. That's right. Big fan of my music? Oh, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite thing about me? Huh? Uh, what's your favorite thing about me? Your favorite song? Uh, probably when it rains and pours. That's right. You like that song? You, is it okay if I sing a little bit of that song for you? Would that be alright? Yes, please. Watch this. The next words that come out of my mouth are the words to your favorite song by me. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. What'd you think? That was great. That was good. <laughs> was it just as good live? Better. Better. Oh my gosh, man, it was so amazing to get to meet you. So awesome to get to meet you. How's it going, my friend? <laughs> my, I, remind them who I am? Your kid, Cuddy. That's right. <laughs> you can ask me any question in the world. What do you want to know? What's been your biggest, like, motivator to keep going. <laughs> Honestly, my fans like you. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Um, hey, do you, you want to get a picture? Here, let's post, yeah, post for yes, a picture here. Yes. There we go. Oh, thank God, there we go. Awesome, man. Hey, it was so amazing to get to meet you. One more. Love you, man. You're the best. Oh, my God. So, so cool, man. <laughs> I want to make sure I get a chance to meet everybody. I got a seat, I have a seat. So good to meet you, man. How's it going, my friend? <laughs> remind them who I am. You're Yarmie Jogger. That's right. No, they don't know. Remind them what I do. You're a hockey player. You're like one of the best trick hockey players I've ever lived. Yeah, that's right. You play hockey? Yeah, I do. How, you're like my biggest idol, dude. How would you like to, to skate around and uh, practice with me, Lenny? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, we gotta make sure we make that happen. Have you got to take a picture? Of course, of course. Awesome. <laughs> so amazing to meet you, my friend. So amazing. Hi. Nice to meet you. Remind them who I am. That's right. Big fan of my music? Yeah. What is your favorite thing about me? New song. You like the song? Yes. Yeah. Now, have you ever been to one of my concerts or shows? No. Well, of course we have to fix that. Did you know I'm doing a surprise concert right here on campus tonight? Oh my God. Are you serious? And I want to make sure you are there, front row. And when I sing my new song, I'm bringing you up on stage to sing it with me. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's gonna be a lot of fun. It was so amazing to get to meet you. And I will see you later at the show. Does that sound? Oh my gosh. Hi, what's up my friend? Great to meet you. Remind them who I am. 
Are you Jennifer Aniston? <laughs> Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> what are you doing later? I don't know. How would you like to hang out later? How's that sound? I'd be down. All right. Let's do it. You're so sweet, so kind. I will. I will see you later then. Oh my gosh! Thank you for being such an amazing fan. Okay. Remind them who I am? Tom Holland. Why are you being flirty with the last guy? <laughs> well, who is, who is this? What? Who does he think I am? I don't know. What are you who am I actually? You're Jennifer Aniston. But who am I actually? Tom Holland. But who am I actually? Tonga. And I'm really? You're going to be younger. It's all so confusing, but I mean, you you know, like, what's what, what's your favorite thing about me? The movies, obviously. The movies are pretty cool. You can ask me anything in the world. What do you want to know? How did you make nerds being cool? How did I make nerds being cool? I mean, that's just part of what Spider-Man does. That's just his essence. He was kind of a nerd. He got superpowers and became cool. And so getting to play that, like, people saw that in me and in my character. And so it was so great, man. Did you did you see the last Spider-Man No Way Home? Yeah, I loved it a lot. It was so great. I mean, you know, we're actually filming some of the scenes from the new one. Really? You're really? Really? Mm -hmm. Now, who do you think should be the new villain in the new movie? I just get, I'm curious. Green Goblin, obviously. Green Goblin should come back. William Defoe come back again? Yeah, exactly. He was so good. That's so true. But we we would need someone to play Harry Osborn. And I was wondering if you would be willing to play Harry Osborn in Spider-Man. I'm not the evil type, for sure. No. <laughs> it, it's acting. I think you could learn it. I think you'd be, you'd be great. We'd have some great like on-screen chemistry. It'd be awesome, man. How's that sound? Good. All right, Harry. I will see you once then. I can't wait to kill you. Oh. <laughs> what are you thinking? All right. He was, he was, it's not tough. Exactly, exactly. It's okay. Hey, so good to meet you. Remind them who I really am. Kate McKinnon. That's right. What? what is your favorite thing about me? You. Just me as a whole. You can ask me anything. What do you want to know? You don't want to know. That's fair. I'll, I'll uh, leave it up. Leave it up to the uh, imagination. I'll save that for later. All right. How are you? So good to meet you. Better now. Remind them who I am. Keira Knightley. That's right. What is your favorite thing about me? Your face. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. You can ask me anything. What do you want to know? How is making out with Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp? Wow. I mean, as you would expect. Yeah, <laughs> nice. It was, it was pretty great. It was pretty great. Did you hear we're filming more Pirates movies? It is cool. It is cool. But you heard Johnny's not coming back, unfortunately. Yeah. I know. It's, it's sad. But but we're, they are looking for more uh, actors to cast in those movies. Do you think you might be interested in being part of the Pirates franchise? With me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that last clause was important. <laughs> All right, well, we'll figure out all the details. I will see you on set later. Oh my God. So good to get to meet you. Right. Remind them who I am. Cody Johnson. That's right. Now, I know they don't all know, but remind them what I do. The best country singer ever. The best country singer ever. Oh, what is your favorite thing about me? Well, I wish you weren't married. Oh. Okay, well what should we do about that? Divorce. Divorce. That, that would give me some more sad country songs to write. That is true, that is true. And then after the divorce, then what? Marry me. Okay. 
All right. I'll, I'll, I'll think it over. How about, how about, well, well maybe, like, you gotta take me to dinner first, at least. How about we, we grab food later? How's that sound? No, you take me to Oh. But you asked me, right? All right, fair enough. What time am I picking you up? Seven. Seven o'clock? All right. I'll see you at seven. All right. All right. Playing the show, Ricardo. I like it. I like it. And last but not least, how are you, my friend? You're not talking to me? Why not? For the picture? Did you get a picture? No. Well, let's get one now. <laughs> Remind them who I am? Gianna <laughs> Romano. That's right. Let's get a picture. Actually, here, let's get one. Let's get one this way with the background. The lighting's better this way. That's not Thomas. There we go, we got it. <laughs> Amazing. My gosh, man, hey, you can, well, you can ask me anything, what do you wanna know? I was Georgina. <laughs> She's well, she's well, I appreciate that. Now, did you know I'm actually coming to play soccer in the US? Here, 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 in, Ill in Illinois. When? Tomorrow. Oh, I want to go, I want to go. How about, uh, not only am I gonna get you tickets to the game, but we're gonna get you early on-screen passes where you can hang out and practice with me on the field before the game starts, how's that sound? Wait, you can pass me, I score. I pass you, you score, how's that sound? Yes, you do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. I will see you tomorrow, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're still arguing over who I really am. All right, hey, it was so amazing to get to meet all of you. I know, I know there's some confusion here, but, but you know who I actually am. You know who I actually am. You know, but here's the thing. I know you, I know you all are assigned something for you. Your hat, ready? All right, tell you what, tell you what. All right, listen up, listen up, very important. Very important. I know you all are fans of me, but I'm an even bigger fan of all of you. Without the support of my incredible fans like you, I would not be able to have the career that I do. I would not be able to live the life that I do and follow my dreams and passions. So because of all of my incredible fans like you, I would not be the person I am without you all. So thank you all for your support. You all mean the, the world to me. And I know, I know, I know you love me, but I love you. I love all of you. Now, I have to I have to get going to an interview. I have an interview on campus here tonight. But before I before I do, I just gotta give you a quick high five and when I do it'll put you right back to sleep. Sleep. All the way down. Next time you open your eyes, I am no longer your favorite celebrity. Everything is now returning back to normal in every single way, doing amazing and incredible. That's it. Next time you open your eyes, feeling good, fantastic, and wonderful. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit special, fun and different up here on stage. Everything is now back to normal. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling good. All right, you all enjoying hypnosis, the experience of getting hypnotized, having fun, awake. Oh, he's uh, still uh, just uh, zoning up. Ready? One, two, three, awake. There we go, feeling fantastic. Who's in it? All right. Now, as part of what I do as a hypnotist is I do a lot of performing, a lot of public speaking. How many of you really enjoy public speaking, speaking in front of a crowd? Yeah? How many of you don't like public speaking? It's not your thing, you're not a fan of it. You don't like public speaking? Why not? I, I just don't. I've never liked it. You've never liked it? But what about it don't you like? I don't know. It's just like a little nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking? For a lot of people and stuff, so. It is a lot of people. Can you stand up for me? If I were to hand you this microphone and ask you just to say something motivational in front of all these people here, how do you think you'd do? Very bad. I want you just to do your best. Um, the semester's starting, you gotta do good. Um, yeah, make sure you're studying. Uh, Stay completely balanced on your feet, but just let yourself sleep. Back down, that's it. Stay completely down. I got you. 
Next time you open your eyes, you have suddenly become the world's best public speaker. You have zero nerves, zero anxiety, only confidence. You love public speaking, you are amazing at public speaking. Next time you open your eyes, you'll give an amazing motivational speech to all these people here because you love public speaking. You are the best. Next time you open your eyes, you are the world's best, most confident public speaker. One, two, three, awake! Feeling good? How do you feel about speaking in public? Pretty good. You feel pretty good. If I gave you this mic and asked you to inspire these people, could you do it? I'd try. Take it away. How are we all doing tonight? So I know school's starting up. We all starting off getting, you know, involved in different clubs, different activities. Where are my sports people at? Yeah. Any sports people? Yeah. Right. All right. So what do you guys? What's like going to be your favorite subject? One person. Just tell me what your favorite subject is going to be. Yeah. yeah. What's up? <laughs> biology. Why you like biology? All right. Who else here likes biology? Yeah. Who are all my bio majors? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm personally a business major. Anybody here a business major? Yeah, yeah. Those are my type of people. I, I just want to say, have a great semester. You know, you got to make sure you're studying hard, working hard. If you got a job, make sure you're working hard. You know, earning that money. College is expensive, but I just want all y'all to have a great semester and let's get it going. Sure did. Give him one more round of applause. As a now, how cool was that? How quickly did that happen? Just like that. Because hypnosis is about understanding. We experience what we believe. And it's not just about the fun, silly, cool things we've been doing. We'll continue to do with the rest of the show. But hypnosis is about understanding. Whatever you believe, you will experience for better or for worse, to be more confident, less stressed, less anxious, whatever you want to believe, whoever you want to become, that is possible. Because ultimately our thoughts are hypnotizing us every day. They're hypnotizing us for better or for worse. The person that you tell yourself that you are is usually the person that you become. But if you argue for your own limitations, you get to keep all of those limitations. But if you argue for your possibilities, you get to create your possibilities. You get to be the person that you decide to be, and it all comes from what you believe. It all comes from what you think. Because what you think is what you feel, what you feel is what you do, and what you do is ultimately who you become. It all starts with your thoughts. It all starts with your beliefs. It all starts with understanding that hypnosis is about understanding that we experience what we so the question that I leave you with tonight, and into the rest of your semester and time at college, and even the rest of your life, is what will you believe? Because for better or for worse, whatever you believe will be who you become. All right? Uh, with that being said, we have a few more things to have fun and wrap up the show. In fact, you all know the very special word that puts them into the wonderful state of relaxation and hypnosis. On the count of three, I just want you all to shout out that word. When you all hear that word, you'll know what to do. One, two, three. Sleep! Didn't need to say a word. You're just the person I'm touching on the shoulder. One, two, three, awake. Eyes open. Oh, you had a little bit of a spill. How you feel? How am I on the floor? Sorry, here, stand up for me. Have a seat. When you sit back down, you go back to sleep. There we go. All good. All good. Next time you open your eyes, doing amazing and incredible in every single way. Doing fantastic. Doing amazing, that's right. Now, uh, next time you open your eyes, you have suddenly become the world's worst motivational speaker. 
You think you're amazing at speaking, and you are, but you only give the world's worst advice. You only give terrible advice. Next time you open your eyes, you have become the world's worst motivational speaker here to inspire in sorts. Uh, everybody in the audience here tonight. In addition, uh, your first name has suddenly become the name of your favorite food. Your first name is the name of your favorite food, and you are the world's worst motivational speaker, here to share some of your best worst advice with everybody here tonight. Go ahead and lift yourself. One, two, three, awake, eyes open. Give it up for our incredibly talented group of panelists here tonight. Uh, they've agreed, they've agreed to share some of their fine wisdom with all of you here tonight. Uh, we'll go down the line. I just want to get your name and your best piece of advice for everybody here. We'll start on this end. What is your name, my friend? Uh, Quesadilla Johnson. <laughs> and Quesadilla Johnson. What is your best, worst piece of advice? Invest heavily in NFTs. <laughs> you heard it here first. Agrees, agrees. Your name, my friend? Uh, pizza. And pizza. What is your best, worst advice? Um, definitely go out to the bars every night. Just have fun, party, get drunk. All right, you ready here first. Great idea, he says. What is your name, my friend? Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster. Uh, what is your advice? I'm gonna say just shh, don't choke your glasses, honestly. This place isn't, just, it's not worth it, honestly. It's, it's just kind of garbage, honestly. So really just sleep in all day and like, be sad early and go to bars and get drunk. <laughs> All right. I guess so. Uh, your name, my friend? My name is Pete Samarubu. All right. What is your advice? So my advice is just, you know, smoke as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> contrary, contrary to popular belief, they are actually good for your health. Like your lungs are going to be much cleaner after. I swear. It's good for I can show you. All right. Cigarettes make your lungs cleaner. Who knew? Uh, what is what is your name? Coconut. And coconut. What is your advice? Um. To just like stay within your bubble, like you don't really need to talk to other people if you already know who you are. So I'm just like, just like, just like close it. Uh, just isolate. All right, they all agree. They all agree. Uh, what is your name, my friend? My name is Tortellini. And Tortellini, what is your advice? Um, I'd say if you're struggling in a class, just don't go to the tutors. They aren't really there to help you. Um, I definitely say just drop out. I mean, if you're struggling in your freshman classes, just drop out. Why are you even here? Drop out. That makes sense. Makes sense. What is your name? Sushi. And Sushi, what's your advice? Uh, don't do school, use crack. <laughs> All right, that was uh, some earth shattering advice right there. Uh, your name, my friend? TV and Jay on the bagel. PB and J on a bagel. Oh yeah. Uh, your advice? If you want to feel clean, shower in the third floor Gulick bathtub. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> your name, my friend? Tortellini. And Tort wait, Tortellini what? Tortellini Han. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Tortellini Han. What is your advice? If someone mistreats you, just punch them. Okay. Just, just all right. Good to know. All right, what is your what is your name, my friend? Steak. And steak. What's your go-to advice? Just don't exercise. Like it's not even worth it. Like all you gym boys, you're not even that strong. <laughs> Your name, my friend? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, what is your best advice? I don't know what we're doing here. Like, just go home. Just go home. Just go? Yeah, go home. Yeah. All right. Uh, real quick, give it up for all that amazing advice. The amazing advice. Uh, all right. Really quick, uh, because they all loved it so much, we have one more quick, just rapid fire advice round. We got to go fast. Um, I need one more piece of advice. Your best relationship advice. If you're having problems in a relationship, they need your advice. Uh, really quick, what's your best relationship advice? Don't get to your relationship. <laughs> you can't have problems if you're single, that's true. What's your best relationship advice? If they don't bring you flowers, they're not the one. Not the one, that's true. Uh, what's your advice? Uh, never get attached. 
Never again attached. Ever. Just keep them at a distance. What's your best relationship advice? Fart on their pillow if you're mad at them. <laughs> All right. Fart on the pillow. Uh, your relationship advice? Red flags are not relevant. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, your relationship advice? Uh, keep the fly down and dance around. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Uh, what is your relationship advice? Um, to never say like that you love each other in public. Oh, just never, never, I'll never say it. No, it's just disgusting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fair. Uh, your relationship advice? So I've seen this recently. Definitely pee in the sink. <laughs> pee in the sink? I've never heard that one. Oh, that's a good. That's a good one. Uh, what's your relationship advice? If you're ever in an argument, the best way to resolve it is the Chris Brown rap. <laughs> okay. Chris Brown rap. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm getting kicked. Your best relationship advice? Uh, sleep with their mother. <laughs> sleep with the mother. Oh my gosh. All right. Last but not least, uh, what is your best advice? There ain't enough green flags to outdo a whack haircut. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the haircut just cannot be forgiven. All right. Tell you what, tell you what. Now uh, give it up for all of our fantastic advice. Fantastic advice. Fantastic advice. All right, tell you what. Uh, we have a very special, fun game for you all. It's called Hypnosis Hot Potato. I want you, I have this invisible Hypnosis Hot Potato, and woman I'm gonna pass it to, and when you get it, just quickly pass it to the person next to you. However, as soon as you let go, it'll put you right back to sleep. Here you go. Sleep. Staying safely in those seats. Sleep. That's right. Sleep. Next time that you open your eyes, no longer the world's worst uh, advice giver. Your, your full name has returned to your, or back to normal. Uh, and yeah, don't do any of that. <laughs> Just do the opposite of what all of them said, and you'll probably be here. Yeah, okay. so. All of my friends up here on stage doing amazing. Next time you open your eyes, you have become the strongest bodybuilder in the world. <laughs> Nobody is as strong as you. You are ripped, you are jacked, you are the most muscular person alive. However, you will see this chair sitting at the front of the stage. This chair has become the heaviest object in the world. It is immovable, you cannot move this chair. Next time you open your eyes, you are the strongest person in the world, but you cannot move this chair you see on stage. One, two, three, awake! Eyes open. Oh my goodness, you all are in shape. Wow. Feel free to show it off. You earned it. Feel free to flex it a little bit. My goodness, you all are strong. What is your secret for getting so strong? I just work out and lift other people. Other people? What's your secret? Honestly, just... Believe in yourself. Be the best you can possibly be. Everything's up to you. It's all mental game. Mental motivation. There you go. What's your secret? It's kind of putting me on the spot here, but I do steroids. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see how we got it out of the open. All right. Uh, who is the strongest person here? No, like actually, like for real. I know you're all strong, but who's like the strongest and strongest? Of the <laughs> you are the strongest person here. All right. Hold on. All right, who thinks they can lift this chair? You think you can lift this chair? All right. Are you... Come on. Really? Gross. You can't lift that up. Can't lift it? Does someone else think they can lift it? Someone else, you show them how it's done. Show them how it's done. Legs, legs, legs. Put the knees, not the back. He's trying. He's trying, you can see in the face, the flexing. Does someone else show him how it's done? How, how, show him how it's done. Oh, same time, there you go, teamwork. He doesn't need it, he doesn't need it. 
Stay safely in those seats. Safely in those seats. Relaxing back in that seat. All the way. There we go. Sleep. Next time you open your eyes, we're going to get ready to finish up and wrap up the show here tonight. Next time you open your eyes, you are not the strongest person in the world. You are as strong as you always have been. Everything is now returned back to normal in every single way. However, in a moment, I'm going to count up from one to five. When I reach the number five, you will be out of the state of hypnosis, releasing yourself completely from the sympathized state of the final number five. However, you completely forget that you were hypnotized. No memory whatsoever. In fact, you don't even remember how you got up on stage. Last thing you remember, you were sitting in the audience ready for the show to start, but you have no memory of getting hypnotized. You completely forget, I'll try to convince you, but you just don't believe me, you don't remember, you were hypnotized. And I'll send you back into the audience eventually. And when you are back in the audience, and when you hear me say the word good night, you will immediately stand up from wherever you are sitting, Count down from 10 down to 1, like you're counting down a rocket launch, each number louder than the last. And when you reach the number 1, then you remember everything. You'll remember all the fun you had in hypnosis, all the good, wonderful, positive, amazing memories in hypnosis when you reach that number 1. But until then, you completely forget. You forget that you were hypnotized until I send you back into the audience. And when you hear me say the word good night, you'll stand up and count loudly down from 10 down to 1. And when you reach the number 1, then... You remember it all. And I'm going to count up from one to five. Each number I count up from one to five. Less relaxed, less hypnotized. Releasing yourself from hypnosis. The final number five. One, feeling less relaxed, more full of energy, full of life. Two, beginning to sit up now in those chairs. Feeling amazing and incredible. Three, feeling so good, like you just woke up from an amazing night's sleep. Four, feeling so energized and refreshed, full of energy, full of life. And if you haven't already, go ahead and completely release yourself from hypnosis and open your eyes now at the final number five. Wide awake. All right. Give it up for all of our awesome volunteers tonight. All right. What did you all? Now, what did you all think of being hypnotized? Did you did you have fun getting hypnotized? I, I know. How am I here? You were part of the show. Did you have fun? Uh, I guess. Did you enjoy being hypnotized? Um, I wasn't. You weren't. Have you ever been hypnotized? Yeah. Uh, yeah? Did you remember last time? Yeah, when you showed me videos. Oh, when you showed me videos. Gotcha. So maybe you'll have to see videos if you were? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Have you ever been hypnotized? No. Uh, you think you could be hypnotized? I mean, I'm open to it. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. Uh, how would you know if you were hypnotized? I mean, I think it's like a mental game. Like, you would just feel it in your body. You don't feel it? Oh, how did I get up here? <laughs> Alright, how many of you were hypnotized? <coughs> no, wait, none of you were actually hypnotized, are you sure? No, I was certain. Certain? Wow. Alright, that's a little awkward. Well, if you uh, weren't hypnotized, then I guess head back to your seats. Uh, give them a round of applause as they head back to their Now, all, all of you know that we have one more final moment coming up.
Andy in the show. I want you to take your phones out, help me and record this from all over the audience because the last part of the show happens all over the audience. This is always a very fun final moment in the show when they uh, realize what they're about to realize. If you do take a video and post it on social media, tag me at Zach Pinson. Some of you might have seen me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube and such, but I always love to see the different perspectives and videos that you guys took at the show. Thank you all for coming out. You all were amazing. You were such a good crowd. You are fantastic. Thank you all so much for an amazing crowd, an amazing show. And by the way, have a good night. Watch their faces! <laughs>